this Cheryl? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Cheryl. Jenny, Jenny here. Good night. Um, yes, ma'am. Thanks for talking to me. Is your sister nearby? Yes, All right. But let me talk to you first, though, Cheryl. Your sister, how old is your sister? She's 13. Only 13. That poor thing. And how old are you, Cheryl? 21. 21. That thing where your mother used the cutlass and disciplined your sister the way she disciplined her. Has she ever done that with you? No, no, no. So that's her first time doing that? Yes, ma'am. What about walking around naked? Was that her first time walking around naked like that or that's something that she typically does in the community? No, no, she, she was just really watching and you know, take a shower. Okay, she was about to have a bath. Yeah. All right, so, all right, so let, me, let me talk to your sister now. Hi, how are you? Right, I can hardly hear you. You're 13. After that kind of beating, you have bruises? No, miss. You didn't get any chop? The cutlass didn't chop you? No, miss. Thank God. What did you do, though? What caused your mother to get so angry that for the first time in her life, she walked out naked and also beat you with cutlass? What did you do? So that voice know that people have going around where there's penis involved and having sex with a man. Is that your voice note? Is that what your mother heard that caused her to lose it? Miss, that wasn't me. I that doesn't want to be there to beat me. So that's, so that's not you at all? That is not what happened? No. So what attitude? What attitude did you give your mommy that caused her to get mad to use a cutlass to beat you? She missed me, but after she tempted or something. That's it? What is it she had asked you to do? Take up the pan with the clothes and bring it around to the pipe. And because you say you can't bother, she decided to beat you with a cutlass? I'm, I'm a kid to my teeth and I misbehave. What do you, what do you call misbehave? Miss, let me, like, me that grumble and me flash, let me flash up. So that was the first time you were doing that because she kept saying, me tired of you, me tired of you. Is it that you've been giving her problems for a while? Me, me always had it, but she just did a talk to me. So you're saying you always grumble and kiss your teeth and flash your mother off? Yes, me. But this time she was tired of it? Yes, me. Have you ever seen her beat anybody with a cutlass or you're the first one to get no. beaten? I'm the first one. Why did she reach for the cutlass? Why did she? Whose cutlass? My grandmother's own. Your grandmother is a farmer? Why you have a cutlass in the yard? Miss, she like you usually use it chop jelly. Oh, she sells she sells jelly? She sells it or just? She usually got market. Okay. So, so, did your mother say anything to you after she beat you? Did she say like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that? What did she say to you? Yes, miss. She said that she didn't want her to beat me with the machine, but it's just because I was misbehaving. And so, it get to her. Do, do you think your mother is going crazy? Do you think no, your mother is getting mad? No, miss. When you look back at the video and you see, you see your mother beating you in, in, in underwear, she didn't look mad to you? No, miss, because the day she was going to bed after, I, after she's supposed to read the next one, it was... What, what about love? Does she normally show you love, talk to you? Is a mother who counsels you from time to time? Yes, miss. You love her after she has done what she has done to you? Yes, miss. What if she's, oh, she's in prison now, correct? They have locked her away? Yes, miss. How does that make you feel? Miss, bye. Bye. Who took the video? Somebody in the yard took the video? Who videotaped when your mother was beating with the cutlass? Somebody in the yard? Who did the videotaping? Yes. Somebody in the yard? Yes, miss. Are you upset that they did it? Yes, miss. Why would you be upset that they did it? Because the world needs to see that kind of thing so that we can tell people not to do that to their children. Don't you think that is even important that we get that message out to the world? 
to love and take care of our children, to not lose it like your mother lost it. You don't think yes. it is important that we see it? Yes, miss. What about when your mommy comes home? We, are you going to be afraid of her? Are you afraid that your mother could get that angry again? No, miss. So how you know she's not going to get that angry again? If she gets angry once... Because I'm, because I'm not going to misbehave or flash her off or do any kind of things to her so she can beat me again. So it is you who will change, but not your mother. Don't you think that she needs to change as well? Yes, miss. And you're not afraid that your mother will beat you, not this time with a cutlass, but with something else that could take your life. Or the cutlass, but this time the cutlass doesn't miss and it chops you instead of slaps you. That does That's not a concern? Do you want to stay there or do you want to go to a home? Miss, I want to stay. Has CDA, CDA has been there? CDA, the government institute, the government organization that looks after children. Yes, miss. When they when they came to you, what did they say? They were asking me some question and said that I'm supposed to stay. Some I'm supposed to stay with my auntie. So so are you with your auntie now? Or are you still at home? Miss, I'm with my auntie now. Okay. Do you are you comfortable where you are? Yes, miss. All right. What do you want to tell everybody who has seen the video? What do you want to tell everybody who has seen it all over the world? What do you want to say to them? Anything you want to say? Yes, miss. I would like to say what happened because my mother is one of the best mothers that I know in the world and what happened and in the video, the best note is that nothing that's going on. I don't know nothing about all those best notes. So the nasty voice note about sex and man doing this, that's not you. That's, that's not, not me. Okay, I'm very happy to hear that. So at, at 13, you're focusing on school and doing well in school, correct? Yes, miss. And if it is, they let your mommy out, you would like to go back and live with your mother? Yes, miss, but me at the school by miss. So you think that's why your mother beat you the way she beat you because she's frustrated, she can't afford it, she's very poor? No, me. No, me. No, she's... I don't understand the no. No means what? She, she can't afford it. She can't afford to send it to our bus to school. So she sends only one at a time? Sometimes the two will go at the same time. But sometimes you stay home. Miss, like for example, me go this week, my brother go the next week, and sometimes go up on the same day. Oh no. So we have to make sure we fix that as well. Did the government talk to you, Angie, to make sure we fix that so that you go to school like a regular child? Miss, it's not the as I get. I know, Miss. All right, so they have to make sure they fix that as well. I'll stay in touch with you to make sure that that is done, okay? All right, make sure you stay focused and thank you for talking to me. And do I well. Think, yes, dear? I would like to help for, to go to school. I'm going to make sure it happens. I promise you that, okay? Yes, what form are you in? First form or second form? Second form. All right, I promise we'll make it happen, all right? Yes, what, what, what about the same school? Is it going to affect you in terms of children seeing that video and knowing that it's you? Is it going to affect you since children are watching that video, children are seeing the video and knowing what happened to you? Is it, so you'd like to change school as well? Would you like to, would you like to change school? Yes, please. All right. Keep your head up, okay? And don't be embarrassed. You did nothing wrong. I'm going to make sure I say that again. Yes, it is important to be disciplined. Yes, it is important to not disrespect your parent or any adult or disrespect anyone. But there is nothing, and I want you to listen to me categorically, there is nothing that you did that warranted what your mother did. What your mother did was very wrong. It is the worst thing a parent can do to a child. She did not do it because you flash her off. She did not do it because you hiss your teeth. She did not do it because you were disobedient. She did it because she made a choice to do that. You are a child and children have to be taught 
you are a child and children are going to make mistakes. Adults are not supposed to abuse children. So I do not want you thinking that your mother abused you because you did wrong. She is not supposed to do that. So I do not want you to feel guilty that your mother is locked up for what she did. By the way, I heard that that video was a long time ago. When did this happen? Miss when I was in grade in November. So this happened last year, November? Yes. But the video has only just come out. Right. All right, I hear and I can understand. Is your mother and you have only one mother? Where's your father? But where is he though? Is he around? No, me. So he doesn't help at all? Me, no one then. What, did you, what does your mother do for a living? Me, she don't work. Oh, she doesn't work. She used to work? Yes. Used to do what? Domestic work? Selling a shop? What? Me, she does Domestic work. All right, so therefore we have to also help your mother when she comes out. But promise me you're not going to blame yourself. Promise me. Promise me. I don't hear you promising. Promise me that you're not going to blame yourself. Um, I promise I'm not going to blame myself. And I want you to promise me that you're going to rise above this and do well in life. Promise me you're going to do well. I promise. Okay, good. I'm going to do well. Right, we're going to make sure you're fine, okay? We're going to make sure you go to school and that you continue to do well. Yes, dear? Say that again? Okay. All right, so, so so we lost a call there, and, and, and this is a child who's crying out for help. I'm, I'm going to try and get to Damien Crawford in a little bit because he said something very important to the front page of the Gleaner this morning, which is the mother's a victim too. I'm beginning to agree with them.